bought this TV about six months ago on the side of the road where I was doing my trash run. I always wonder why would someone throw away a perfectly good 37 inch LG flat screen. Took me a while to figure out a few minutes on the internet doing research and I found out that maybe uh, the capacitors were starting to purge and that was what's causing what you see now a blank screen as you can see it's plugged up the green lights on power is being supplied to it but the screen is blank now I played around with about two months after I found it and I realized after powering it on you have to wait at least 25 minutes maybe 30 minutes and this picture will finally show up. So it's only been about three minutes now, so I'm gonna give it a few more minutes and see what happens. I already went on eBay and found the necessary parts to repair it. Order mail capacitor kit. I'm just recording this right now to show you guys exactly why someone would throw away their flat screen TV of course this is aggravating and it could cause you to think your TV's broke but in my eyes it's always a simple solution to fix something so rather than throw it away I attempt to fix things before I throw it away some people are not like that they rather go buy a new TV and that's where I come in. You throw away your stuff on the side of the road. I'm gonna come pick it right up and I'm gonna try to fix it. If I can't fix it, I'll throw it away. But if I can fix it, hey, you lost my game. About five minutes now. Still hasn't powered on yet. Well, the screen hasn't came on yet. I'll get a few more minutes. Picture shows good once it's plugged up to a cable box, satellite box. Perfect picture, sound, everything. Okay, there we go. And as you can see, actually I stand correct. It only took a good, I say, good ten minutes. My my estimated count was off a little bit, but as you can see. It, perfect, it works perfectly fine. It says no signal because it's not plugged up to a satellite box or anything. But I just wanted to make this video to show you guys that this is what I found six months ago on the side of the road. Plug to stand TV. Seeing this uh, trash can, as you can see. It's in perfect working condition. Other than the little 10 minute, 15 minute delay of it showing picture. So, what I'm about to do now is about to cut it off. Let it sit for a few minutes and then I'm gonna take the back off and attempt to repair the issue. We'll see what happens. I'm back again. I've already taken out the back of the TV and unplugged the necessary wires so I can get to the power supply board. As you can see, it's very simple. You just pull these plugs off. Unscrew the screws. It's only held down by four screws. take the board off. I'm finna show you guys where the problem lies at the reason why the picture takes so long to show up. Let's see. I don't know if you can see I'll turn it this way. You see how that one right there looks like it's leaking. Let's bump it up. Let me try to zoom in.
See how it's bubbling up a little bit. It's not supposed to be like that. Uh, you can see a little dark spot right there in the corner. This one's actually started leaking, so we know this one's bad. If you look next to this one, you can see how that one's more flat, and this one's more bubbled. A good friend of mine's taught me that it's not supposed to be bubbled up like that. And if it is, it's bad. The capacitor's bad. I have two more over here. You can see these two real good. See how it's starting to point up at the top. And how the other two next to it are, are more flat. I got to replace these two capacitors too. I don't know which capacitor is causing the screen not to show up. But I'm still going to have to replace all. I'm going to have to replace all three of these capacitors. for I went on eBay and purchased my replacement capacitors see how this one more flat there we go see so I got three of these I would make a video of me replacing them, but I don't have the proper stand to hold the camera, so I have to cut it off and do it and show y'all the end results. I'm being a little mad science today. I ain't got nothing else better to do, so I'm going to replace this TV. I'll get back with y'all when I finish doing my little project. I'm back again. Just want to make another quick video. So you show y'all again that TV works. And I did it all by myself. And saved myself the headache of taking to a TV repair shop only to to hear them give me the run around about how much it's gonna cost or telling me it can't be fixed. Get the power button. Just kind of get used to that light flashing like that, but I guess that's something with this brand of TV. Women tell stories. I hate it. It makes my balls itch. I, I Don't hate take it. long. Come on, no I more. Say, man, it's, it's just a bunch of words with no plot, no middle. No, and then Eric is always angry. Why are all your stories so angry? See, I could have picked a show. How come nothing good ever happens at work? It's always bad. Babe, let me tell you about this bitch Sabrina at the office today. Okay, first of all, she comes in the office Watch with white socks Kevin Hart. and black shoes. Uh, excuse me, bitch. Labor Day is over. Huh? Excuse <laughs> me. Uh, thank you. Backspace. Delete that. Uh-uh. <laughs> Well, let's see it. Did my own repair. For now, I want some fees. I do it myself. Save myself the trip. Save myself the money. You gotta act like we know what's going on. What? She told you to print it out the fax machine. Uh uh. No, she didn't. That bitch is crazy. Not my baby. Thank you. The alternative to the computers. Thank you. I told the bitch. Boop. Backspace. No.